Now, let's identify a pattern, but let's suppose this time we have two adjacent columns of cubes instead of one. So first off, let's, let's build our pattern here. Two there, we have two side by side, one high. Well, let's write that down. I have a double block, one cube high, and I would have to paint eight faces. One, two, three, the other side there, four, five, six on the back, and then seven, eight. Now, I thought of it this way, two here, two on the back, the two on the ends, and then two on top. Now, let's say this two plus two plus two, what's two plus two plus two? Six, and kind of going with my thought from the other particular screen, I'm going to have six on the side every time and two on the top to make eight. So now if I make it two cubes double blocked, right, I'll have 14 faces. Think about it. One, two, three, four. Then I have five, six, seven, eight on the back, nine, ten right there, eleven, twelve on the sides, then the plus two there, thirteen, fourteen. Well, how could I do it? Well, think about it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six faces to paint on the bottom row, six faces to paint on the second row, and two on the top. So I have six twice plus two makes what? Fourteen. So what do you think is going to happen now that I have these three rows? Well, there's six around this side, six around that one, six around that one, plus two makes twenty. So think about that. I had what? Three rows of six plus two made a total of what? Twenty faces. So what do you think is going to happen on this one? Mm, now I've got what? Six there, six there, six there, six there. Well, that's 24 plus 2 is what? 26. And notice I write that. 6 times 4 plus 2 equals 26. Is there a formula I could write for that? Well, let's think about it. 6 is, in a sense, a coefficient. 2 is a constant. What's changing? That would be my variable, the thing that's changing. So how could I write that using the letter n? 6 n plus 2 will be basically my formula to find any of those particular problems. So now then, let's write a rule. Well, I think I just write a rule to find the total number of faces needed to paint for two columns of cubes with 35 cubes in each column. Well, think about it. If I take 6 times n plus 2 and I replace the number of cubes, I'm going up 35 cubes in each column, Take 6 times 35, 210, plus 2 makes what? 212. Because I'll have 6 faces to paint on each row, 35 rows. Hmm. That kind of makes sense. So let's write a rule that expresses this relationship between the number of cubes in each column and the total number of faces to be painted. Well, I kind of did. It's called 6n plus what? 2, the number of rows times 6 plus 2 will give me, in a sense, the number I need to find. So let's predict how these two graphs might differ from the first problem we worked right here. This was the first problem we worked right here. Remember where we had one cube in length and one high made 5, 2 made 9, 3 made 13, and 4 made that? Well, 1 made 8. 2 made 14, 3 made 20, and 4 made 26. What do you notice about the red ones compared to the black ones here? They're going up at a little bit higher pace. Hmm. This was 4n plus 1, and this was 6n plus 2. It's like they're going up, these are going up by 4s, and these are going up by 6s.